Hello everybody, it's Honey Lou. I just got a package in from Eldana at Elements of Tarot. I'll link her down below. Um, she sent me a gift. And I know a few decks that are in here, but I never owned yet. They're, they're classic, so I'm really excited to have them in my collection. Um, these were decks that I meant, like, was meaning to have in my collection event eventually, but I'm really stoked that she gifted me these decks. Um, so I'm not going to show you the box because I don't want it to show her address, but here it is. I got a lot of mail in today, so I'm starting to Christmas shop. Every time if I think about buying a deck, I just go buy a Christmas gift. <laughs> because I'm really trying my best to... I'm, I'm excited about Christmas. Sorry, that was loud. Ooh. Cool. So I got a, a journal, and I love the paper. Wow, I love paper. I love thick paper. Then I got a note. Ooh, it's beautiful. Wow. Some sample cards. Ooh, this is cool because then I get to like know what these cards are like. I've always wanted this one by Scylla Conway. It's, I forgot what it's called, but I've always wanted this deck. Ooh, I love how she does this. It's so beautiful. Oh, I never heard of this deck before. Wow, it looks like a beautiful Christmas deck. Cool. I'm going to have to look this up. Beautiful. Dear Honey Lou, from one card lover to another, cheers. Thank you for breathing new life into these beautiful old decks. I hope they will bring you as much joy as they did for me. Oh, that's so sweet. I love that. This is beautiful. What is this? Oh, it's a cute little post. Oh, it's so cute. I love this. I always just really appreciate people that really know how to, you know, package a package really well, you know? I, I don't know how to do it. Or I'm just too impatient to do it, but oh, I just appreciate it when it happens to me. So I'm, yeah, eventually I would love to do that. And I just think it's so cool how people just add that perfect little touch. Okay. Woohoo. Okay, so here's one. Perfect. Another bag. I've been, ne I need bags, man. I need to make some more too. Oh, cool. I love these little bags. And then let's take this one out. Perfect. So here it is. Cool. What are these? What the hell? Okay. Wow. Beautiful. Oh, that is beautiful. Cool. I love this. This is so pretty. Cool. I think this is like an Aurora angel quartz i think i love this one i don't know what this is but i love it okay so since we know what this was in since we know what this one is let's look at it i've always wanted this one and this one has 78 cards wow it looks brand pink and new this is the Taroki Visconti Sephorza. i'm not going to pronounce that because i cannot figure out how to pronounce it I'm sure if I like practice and Googled it and then did the video of how to pr pronounce it, I'm sure I can get it eventually, but I just never had time. I love the boxes that these come in. I'm going to save this because I love it. But as you guys know, if you guys are, if you guys have been on my channel for a while, you guys know that this was like my first love. Uh, the Fisconte de Monroe was my first love 
tarot deck, like it was my first soul deck I would consider. Um, but that was the deck that I learned tarot off of. It was that and Rider Waite Smith. Um, and I feel like this deck is really cool for reading intuitively um, and learning pips, numerology. And I like the size. Wow. I wonder if this is like a facsimile. It must be. So beautiful. I like the cardstock too. It has like this gloss on top, but it's like this matte feel on the backs. And I believe this is like the original backings. And then you could see that they still have like the um, the hole there for, they used to tack it on the wall. I guess they found it tacked on the wall. Some cards are missing, so some of them don't look correct like this one was missing. It's very beautiful. I think this was missing. Oh, I love this double. This was missing. The tower was missing. That's beautiful. This one too, I think. Oh, beautiful. I love these pips. And I don't think these are like the original pips. I believe they were like the gold foiling. Oh, cute. I love the quartz in this deck. Ooh, I just love this cardstock. Beautiful. Oh, I love that one so much. And these ones. Oh. So cute. Oh, how cute. Oh, I love her. Beautiful. I love him too. Thank you, Aldana. These are beautiful. Okay, now I'm going to open this one up. Cool. So this is the one that I knew that she was going to send me. This is the, uh, or wait, no, this isn't the one. Yes, it is the Italia. I can't pronounce it correctly. I should have researched how to pronounce it. Italia. But I've always wanted this deck. And this is an out of print Grimald. Grimald. I gotta do more research, but I always wanted to have this. Oh, it comes with a guidebook. This is nice. I love this feeling of old paper. And it's in it's in English, so that's cool. Okay. So I recently got a sample card of this deck. Let's see what the backs look like. Ooh, so these are nice. Um this is from 1969, I believe. Let's see. Wait, not 1969. Um 1960s, I know, I think. Wait. I don't remember, but this is one of the older editions that's out of print. One of the first editions, maybe? Or not the first editions, but you know what I'm saying. So nice cardstock. It's nice and flexible. This is an interesting... Um system and I can't wait oh that's so cute and so beautiful I love it I love this and I know I will use it too oh my god it's beautiful oh I love this so the original um, divination meanings for tarot is not the same as this. It's different. And I know there's some like walkthroughs on fa or YouTube, sorry, I can't talk correctly, that talk about the, like, the divination meanings of these cards are way different. Ooh, I love it. I love the colors. It's rich coloring. I love these pips. These pips are really nice. 
Cardogram sent me a sample card and I loved the feelings of that deck. And the backgrounds or the backs felt really like uh, 3D. It had like this, I don't know, like this, I don't know, how do you call it? Those little bop it toys, those fidget toys. I don't know. It had like this cool little feel to that. But this one, I love the colors. And usually Grimmauld, I always thought they had thicker cardstock, but this one actually feels very flexible, so it's going to be fun to work with. I'm stoked. Ooh, I love it. Ooh, I love that. Yeah, this is going to be so much fun to work with. Oh, cool, you even get the, like, the planetary symbols. Oh, that's dope. I just realized that. Oh, this is going to be fun. I can't wait. Can't wait to work with this. I don't even know how this, oh, here we go. I always stick it in the middle because it's a lot easier to get the guidebook in without wrecking it. Okay, so this was the surprising one that she put in there. <gasps> oh, I think I know what it is. Oh my goodness. So I have this deck and this is a backup copy and it feels different. So this one feels like a different edition. Oh my goodness. I love this deck. This is actually my first Marseille that I ever owned. Let me pull it out real quick. Wow. So she just sent me two of my first decks that I've okay so this was my first Marseille right here and um I've always wanted a backup oh wow so she has 520 here and I have 1468 this probably is the first edition yep oh, that's so cool I got a backup so then now I could actually just use the crap out of this one and then I have this one because I love this Marseille it's definitely one of my favorites it's so clean this is the deck that made me fall in love with Marseille. And um, this was a birthday present for me like two years ago, I believe, that I bought mine. And I used this, the HW for Honey Lou Wilson right there. Oh my goodness, I love this deck. I've always wanted a backup of this one too. So this is really, really special. Oh my goodness. You know, in my other one, like, I've always had a hard time using it because I didn't want to ruin it. But mine is pretty disheveled. This one's brand spanking new. Okay, so let's show you my other one. My stomach is growling. So I don't know if you're going to notice how much I used it. But this one has... It's getting pretty dark, or like there's some dirt. Um, there used to be blood on here. <laughs> That's cool. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Yeah, this is definitely one of the most beautifulest Marseilles that I own. So now I think I'm going to take this out and start using it more. I love this and the quality is amazing. I actually spent a lot of money on this one. So this was the one of the last few of the first edition and it was like $230. And so that's why it was my birthday present. But then I noticed on Terra Arts that it's the second edition is like 70 bucks or whatever, 40, something like that. So yeah, they put it up for me. Um, but yeah, that's beautiful. So I guess I could show you some other decks that I just got since we're here. One second. Okay. 
Okay, so here is Gendron. I wanted this deck for a long time. It reminds me of Rose Honey Ritual because she was the first one that showed this on her channel. And ever since that, I fell in love with this deck and I've always wanted it, but I would never get it. Like, it just took a while. And you could still find it for a reasonable price on eBay. I paid $40 for this deck. Um, this is the first edition. You could see that it's already, like, fell apart. I love this deck. It feels so warm and pretty and um, fun. And it feels very fey like I think this is 1997. But I love these backs. It has the, you know, um, Crow's Magic type old card stock, which is very nice. I've been playing with this, and I love it. Oh, so I found a really good pairing with this deck. I will just show you right now. But this is like Rider Waite Smith, I believe. <clears throat> Here is the Spiral Oracle. You can get this off of Amazon, so it looks like this. And I thought these were perfect, so I never had like the perfect pair for this Oracle, but this is it for sure. Although it's a little bit bigger, but and this one's a little bit smaller, but I was just having... It was so beautiful seeing these two together. love it and it's so cool because sometimes you'll get like the faces that look at each other and I don't know it was really cool to see these together look how beautiful and you could see like these colors right there and these both have like this new agey feel but very fey very pretty this is so blurry but I still love it and this is so weird. Like, I don't know why, but I really love digital collage. And I would love to get some more digital collage funky decks. They're just so funky, but they're so fun, and they make me happy. And they put me in a really good mood. And you could see how much love was put into this deck and this one. Um, like, this is so cute. I love his little face. I love this card with the star. Beautiful. And another oracle I was thinking about using with this deck is this one. It's called Angels or Truth Paths of Angels. And it's about the Kabbalah, pretty much. So it's a very small oracle, but it's both digital collage, and I like how the face looks weird. And it doesn't always fit, but it just, it, it makes you happy to look at it like that. And you can see how this is very narrow, but it's so cool. I love that. This is, I love this card. It's beautiful. And this deck reminds me of, is it the Star Tarot in a way? This one. I'll just show you a couple photo or cards. But they have like the same energy. This one just feels a bit more modern. I love the colors. She's one of my favorite quartz in this deck. I love this Ten of Pentacles. But see how much like the colors look they both have a lot of floral um native american art 
she's so cute. And another duck. Let's see, do I have it? Mm. This one is called Enchanted Soul. Oh, Leon's coming. This is a digital collage. And I love this. This reads really well. It's funky. I want to get a new copy of this one because I used the crap out of this deck, but it reads well and I miss using it. So I want to get a copy and I don't want to like, I don't want to use it or I want to be more careful with it because I don't know. I just, this is a really beat up copy and I just want a brand new one and I'll probably just overhand shuffle it. But I love these. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Another deck that I got was the Vampire Tarot by Robert M. Place. I got this off eBay and I've been wanting this deck for a long time. It reminds me of Rachel second thoughts about the mission but this reads really well the backs are the best the guidebook is full of you know history about dracula who created the book dracula i forgot his name history about tarot marseille um so it's cool gothic literature These pips are really good. <clears throat> I don't dislike anything about this deck. I love it so much. So I'm so glad that I got it. I thought it was worth getting. I mean, I feel like I paid for what I got in a way. Because I think it's well done. Probably one of the best works of Robert M. Place, in my opinion. Um, and I can't believe this deck is out of print. It just blows my mind. but I really love it. Okay, I think that's it. I will follow up more on some other decks eventually. Thank you, Aldana. I don't know if I'm pronouncing your name correctly, but eventually I will do a follow up on some decks I've been using and follow up on my new decks I just got. So I love this one, my, my Tarot de Thoth and other stuff like that. Thank you. I'm super excited. I can't wait to use all these decks. Um, I've been in deck heaven lately, and I've been really into reading a lot lately. And um, oh, here's my Edgar Allan Poe. I'm excited for the holidays. I'll show you that real quick. So I got this at Michael's, and it's perfect. Oh, and I've been watching some vlogs too. Um, a vlog that I've been loving is Chris the girl. It's C R I S, not C H R I S. And it's Chris the girl. And she does like vlogs of shopping. She recently went to Salem. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I love the spooky stuff. I love spooky season and I love Christmas. And I will link her down below too. You guys should go check her out. Okay, bye.